Like GM's GMC Canyon, the F-150 is designed to be more fuel efficient, though Ford did not give uh, information on its consumption rate at the launch. The F-150's body is made of aluminum, meaning it is lighter and so it guzzles less fuel. Last year, nearly 16 percent of the U.S. auto market belonged to Ford. Company president and CEO Alan Mulally is live in Detroit and he joins us now. Alan, it is wonderful to see you again. Thank you uh, for joining us and congratulations on the new car. I have to say a lot of people, the truck rather, a lot of people talking oh, about it. Maggie, thanks a lot. Saying it is the biggest product gamble maybe in Ford's history. What makes you so sure that this is the future? Well, you know, we've worked with uh, uh, aluminum for many years, as you know, and also we have a lot of new uh, aluminum alloys that we use in commercial airplanes and in aerospace, and, and now we're introducing those new alloys in the automobile industry. Pound for pound, aluminum is stronger and tougher than steel, and it's just a perfect material to continue to improve the fuel economy and the durability and the capability of our F-Series. But to your point, this is such a great development for, for all of the, uh, the customers of the F-Series because uh, you know, clearly it's been the number one truck uh, in the United States for uh, 37 years, the number one vehicle in the United States for, um, for 32 years. And so they really prize uh, fuel efficiency and, uh, and the handling and the capability. And with this truck, we're going to be able to significantly improve that capability. Yeah, a a any help anyone can get at the pump, I'm sure, is going to make them thrilled. But people, you know, aluminum's more expensive. You had to invest a lot in retooling your plants to make this happen. Are, are consumers going to have to pay more in the showroom to make up for that investment? Um, any money they save at the pump, are they going to have to move it in and pay up at, uh, at the showroom? Is it going to be more expensive? Well, I think that's a really important part uh, of the new F-Series because with this light weighting, we can actually downsize the engines, make them even more fuel efficient and less CO2, but also we can add a lot more capability to the vehicle itself. So overall, it'll actually increase the value along with the fuel mileage to the consumer, which is the, which is the biggest uh, improvement that we can make with the lightweight material. Mm. Alan, this is the first time in decades that American car makers are not only gaining market share, they're also increasing profits at the same time. Is that something that can continue given the fierce competition that's out there? Well, I think it, uh, it always starts with uh, your product line. And in Ford's case, as you uh, well know, we invested during the toughest of times in a complete family, small, medium, large, cars, utilities, and trucks. Uh, they're absolutely best in class in terms of quality, fuel efficiency, safety, and really smart design. And so we probably have the best product lineup uh, around the world, which allows us now to serve more markets. And with our scale and our efficiency, we're actually uh, the most affordable, too. So I think uh, it's, a, it's a, good, a good foundation for us to continue to profitably grow the corporation. And Alan, as you speak, we're looking at some of the offerings, including the Mustangs. You've been so strong in the U.S., uh, coming back after the decline, a little bit more spotty internationally. How do you feel like your international business is shaping up? Well, uh, you know, clearly in the United States, as you pointed out, we see an industry that will be between 16 and 17 million uh, units based on an economy that's going to expand, I think, around uh, 2 2.5 percent. In Europe, it's stabilizing, it's starting to gradually grow. We have restructured our business to match the production to the real demand. I think we'll be uh, operating profitably based on the strength of our products uh, in 2015. And Asia Pacific continues to be a, a tremendous opportunity for us to serve. The, the uh, economy is growing. I think this year it'll grow around 7.5% again. And the industry for the automobile industry in China will grow between 22.5 million units and 24 and a half million units. And they love the Ford brand. And with our one Ford plan, we're now introducing all of these new Ford vehicles to the consumers in China. So uh, also the pent up demand around the world is, is uh, you know, really extensive. And so uh, you can economically now obsolete your older vehicle with a new Ford vehicle. Alan, you sound as enthusiastic about the Ford cars as the day you took over. We understand 2014 is supposedly your last year. You're not taking the Microsoft job. You do not seem like a man who's ready to retire, though. What can we expect? Well, there really is uh, no change to uh, what we shared with everybody. Uh, I'm honored and pleased to serve at least through uh, 2014. 
and I'm absolutely uh, committed to this team and the One Forward plan. And this is just such an exciting year for all of us. 23 new launches this year, the most that we've ever done, and now we're participating in all the market segments around the world. So this is just a really a fun time to serve at Ford.